All right, guys. With that down, there's still a bunch of other things in the world of movie news going on that we want to touch on quick. So uh, this little segment we call In Other News. Jonathan, what do we got? All right. First up, this weekend, Godzilla X-Kong took another $15 million at the box office domestically to push its worldwide box office total to over $436 million in three weekends. Uh, the previous film, Godzilla vs. Kong, made $470 million worldwide after its full theatrical run. John. True or false, Godzilla X-Con can already be considered a success for Warner Brothers. Absolutely true. Uh, it can be considered a success already. I mean, look, the, the movie cost, what compared to other big blockbusters, is a fairly modest budget of $130 million. It really only <clears throat> needed to make, like with about a $60 million marketing thing, after theatrical cut, I mean, it, it didn't even need to make $350 million to be profitable. So this is another profitable installment. It will pass Godzilla versus Kong. At four, I, like, I don't know if it'll get to 500, but it's got a shot at getting to the $500 million mark. The, you know they're already rolling on the next one. So is it true that it's already success? Absolutely true. Rob? Dune. Dude. Dude. I was saying, dude. I was thinking legendary <laughs> Dune. Dune, what I want to say is Dune and Godzilla X Kong are both legendary finance productions. Is it true or false? Oh, the statement. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes, it's true. I was just going to say legendary is having a good year. True. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's next? 